Good morning, Nigeria. Welcome to Social Media Trends on the weekend show. My name is Ina Peters, Glad to be back bringing you, well, some of the biggest stories that trended this week in the social media space. Now, of course, um, if it's human rights, if it's politics, if it's entertainment, you know that we will bring it to you live and direct. Okay, now we start, we begin with the Abuja um, police raid on women, which has started the hashtag NAEPB Impunity, which is Abuja Environmental Protection Board. Now, just last week, you know, I, I remember just leaving the studio and uh, we got the news that over 70 women were arrested. You know, they were picked up from several um, clubs, lounges and spots in the federal capital territory from Crystal, Pierban, and um, the list goes on. Now, but what is even more disturbing about this is um, some of the news stories we're now seeing online we saw online rather during the course of the week which is now really really disturbing to a lot of people especially women uh, we'll take the first tweet that um, actually explained what the what the situation is um, Mart Obonor tweeted the joint tax force that arrested some of these girls have been allegedly molesting and assaulting them some even showed the bruises and bleeding and bleeding a capital city like Abuja needs to define its rules if it wants to be conservative or liberal. Um, he also continued, there are gory stories surrounding the raiding conducted by Abuja Environmental Protection Board, AEPB, Joint Tax Force. It's recent raiding of girls on the streets, club and lounges. I mean, how do you rape these girls wearing pure water bags as condoms? How? Hashtag end EAP and be impunity. Now, Udo Ilo, reacting to this story, tweeted, the event in Abuja in the last few weeks is enough to elicit a very strong statement from the presidency. We're damaging our image, we're damaging our women, we're damaging what is left of our counterfeit democracy. Hashtag Abuja police raid on women. And Tega Phoenix also tweeted, SARS arrests Nigerian men, everyone trends and SARS. Police arrest Nigerian women and rapes them. Nigerian men, what are they doing outside by that time? Why can't you stay at home? Why can't you, why are you, why were you dressed like Olosho? We need to hear from the police to have a balanced view. And um, Chidi Odi Kalu um, also replying to the trends of um, tweets that we've seen the story um, bring. A lot of the conversation about the advocacy to hashtag end AEP being punity for the abduction of women from the streets of, of and clubs of Abuja is based on the mistake that being a prostitute is a crime and how a woman dresses can make her one. Both are unfounded and it's necessary to debunk them. Well, in Nigeria, prostitution is illegal. So, um, we're not saying this, but definitely you don't address a woman by what she's wearing. You don't say, oh, because of, you know, I decide to put on shorts this evening, you think I'm a prostitute. Now, this has definitely started serious conversations. And um, guess what? So we have two persons that have been actively involved in this campaign, in this fight. We have Martin Obono and Dorothy Njimanzi, and they're going to be joining us in the um, political segment, so you don't want to miss that. Moving on, President, Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo, um, Travel to Anambra and he's continuing with his trader money campaign. Now the federal government, the federal government actually put this out there with the official as the official handle at Asorok. Now they put the tweet out there. Vice President at Prof Oshibajo was in Anambra State today. He was accompanied by the Nanambra State Governor at Willy Obiano as he visited markets where trader money and GEEP market money enumerations and disbursements are ongoing. Let's look at some of the reactions that trailed this tweet. Naji underscore Kate tweeted, contrary to the popular belief of hashtag trader money, vote buying and election, trader money is still very much active and still in the heart of the VP. He has decided to visit some places to assess the progress of trader money. He is starting with Enugu and then to Anambra. At Charles Tracy, leave them. Let them be confusing themselves. Hashtag trader money is here to stay. The government is reaching the unreached. At Hussein Abdul Alem, tweeting A Alem 94, Oshibanjo is buying votes against the 2023 presidential election with his hashtag trader money. Hmm. 
vote buying in Anambra? Well, I feel like it's too early to start buying votes all the way in 2023. Well, one person that does not seem to agree with this is Reno Mokri. Now, he tweeted, hashtag trader money is dying a natural death after the elections. How many times have you seen Professor, Professor Oshibajo crisscrossing Nigeria on trader money mission after the elections. The sad thing is that at official EFCC is arresting Yahoo boys when the Yahoo men are there at Asurok. Now, Reno's tweet actually came six days before the vice president traveled to Anambra, you know, to check on the progress of the trader money. So, yeah, one may they wonder. But it's good, you know, it's good to always have people that put, you know, people in government in check just so. That's why there's something called check and balance now i also said that a lot happened in the entertainment scene we move on to nollywood actress tone to king tone to dk i remember her reminding me that she always add king to her name now king tone to dk is trending seriously i don't know if you've come across the news but that's why i'm here at the end of the day so she has called out her ex-husband again ola kunle churchill the actress is not happy and she opened to the story is she opened a new youtube uh channel and she decided to conduct an interview let's take a look at this short video now for the 419 yahoo you know you go online you dupe white women you go online you dupe people that's what my son's father does i'm not proud of it i'm saying i told you i said this interview is mainly not for nigerians it's i want my son to grow i'm not i'm not the kind of mother that's going to hide things from her son no my son will know everything and the whole truth i'm not going to lie to him but then i'm not going to hide things from him so yes, my son's father is a fraud. He does Yahoo. How I know? Because I caught him in the middle of a red candle with, with laptop in his lap and a red pants on, and a red cloth tied around his waist. Not just that. I mean, coming from the house we stayed in when I was married to him, this man told everybody that he bought the house. He didn't buy this house. <sighs> Now, um, this news definitely came as a shock to uh, a lot of us. Um, she said he's not only Yahoo. You know, there are levels to this thing. Apparently, he's a Yahoo Plus person. Well, a lot of um, people were not here for this and some were. Let's look at some of the reactions that followed this video. At Jagaban YouTube commented, No matter the sin man must have committed, no man deserves to be sentenced to marrying Tonto DK. Worse than death sentence. At beyond underscore style, for some reason, I believe Tonto, anybody can fall a victim of lies and deceit from men. Because she's a celebrity doesn't make her different from any other woman out there. I pity ladies that are commenting rubbish on this post. Pray you don't end with the wrong man because he will frustrate you. And when you want to speak up, you will end up sounding crazy. The real underscore Monica, I can't believe people are actually bashing her. This is a problem in the African community. We don't see anything wrong with domestic violence. Also, Tonto was just a woman in love that fell for many lies. It happens. And Jay Onyeka, he was broke. He was a minute man. He was living a fake life. Yet you dated him, married him, slayed, slayed for the gram for almost two years. And then because you guys are no more, his everything classified as bad under the surface of the earth. We're tired of all this, and I'm only commenting because it's on this page. All right, now. So while we're still trying to recover from this, the Nollywood actress, again, still conducted, did an interview with OAP Daddy Freeze this time, uh, where she points out, you know, some of, some, you know, information about, you know, what happens in their bedroom and how, you know, at some point she might end up telling her son that her father is dead. Take a look, that his father is late rather. Take a look at this video. Trying to stay away from anything that has, it's, it, to me, anything that has his name is dirty. I buried him a long time ago in my head. And if he continues like this, I will wake up one day and I will tell his son that the father is dead. Because I'm not, I'm not going to train. I'm, I'm an Aquarian woman. We don't train children for men. Our men take care of our women. Take care of their children. Yeah, look, at the, look at David. Oh, a small boy like... Oh, sorry. Not for calling you small boy, but I mean I'm older than you. But look at David. Oh, taking care of his children. Look at Whiskey. Paying child support and taking care of his children. Being involved in their life. Look at two friends that have a more millenn millennium of... I mean, multitude of children. He still takes care of his children. This man, you have only two that I know. Confirm. 
and you can't even take care of any of them. But you constantly come out to lie and discredit the women in your life. So um, I just want to say shout out to Aquarian men for taking care of their women, like um, Tonto DK said there. But you know, she added David O in it, but she said, you know, I mean, nothing bad though. But there are other celebrities that have been, you know, putting, say, giving their two cents on the issue. Um, one was comedian Funny Bone, who took two, who went under her comments and placed, made this comment, and um, she wasn't here for it. Let me read the comment to you. It's been two years now. Let this man rest and move on. Come on now. Now, Tonto DK wasn't having this. She came for the comedian who later said, um, who created this picture collage, you know, saying that she was going to be at his comedy show happening sometime in June. And Tonto was like, she was going to sue him. If he wants to use, if he wants to use her for publicity, then he should pay. Another um, celebrity who got involved and um, the so let's just say her clapback was really, really hot, was um, actor Ike Obona, who said, you know, maybe she should take things, you know, slowly and she shouldn't really bring this to the public scene because of her son. Now, Tonto DK came fully prepared for Ike Obona, making threats and making um, claims about some, you know, unrelated things, even saying that um, she would, you know, ask for a butt x-ray. Another person that also got involved that shouldn't have just said anything is... Um, Popular Yoruba actress Funke Ade Adesion. Now she also said um, she called out Tonto DK, called out um, you know saying Tonto DK was a disgrace to womanhood, and I mean nobody would take that. So Tonto DK actually has actually promised to beat her when she sees her in Lagos next week, and says she will also give her a poop to eat, and she shouldn't be bothered about her size, even though she's small she can still handle her. Well, in the, in the midst of all this drama, there's definitely one person's take that I, I agree with, and I feel like a lot of people will agree with, and that is Toke Makinwa's take. Now, while this whole saga was going on, Toke Makinwa was just slain all over the internet. And when she had time for this, this was her comment. We're all tested differently, broken differently, our scars fade differently, and we heal different. Everyone should be allowed to grieve how they want, when they want and however long they want to. Stop giving expiry dates to the pain you did not endure. If you cannot be kind, say nothing. It's okay to be quiet. Try it sometime, you won't die. You don't have to understand everyone's journey or life's choices, but it's your duty to respect it. Life visits us all at the end of the day and while you play judge, let's hope. When it's your turn, you remain standing to handle it half as strong or as perfect as you try to claim as you try to claim B. Okay, hashtag Friday inspiration, judge not, be kind. All right, moving on. Well, before I move on, the funny part is that Turn to Dickens' ex-husband on Lakunle Churchill has said absolutely nothing. He's just taking a chill pill. And he has also put out a statement saying that if you see any videos, you know, circulating that have been, you know, edited to look like he's responding to Toto DK. That is fake. That is a lie. Moving on to some exciting news. Congratulations are in order for our very own T. West Savage, who just got signed to Universal Music Group. Now, of course, we know with every new beginning, there has to be an end. You know, you have to move from somewhere to another. So T. West Savage retires her Maven jersey. Now, Don Jazzy took to his Instagram page to put up this very emotional post. Let's take a look at it. Um, if we can check, move to the next slide. Um, so anyways, Don Jazzy talked about, you know, how Tiwa Savage has done fantastically well in, you know, Maven, and he considers her as family. And even though she's moved on to bigger heights and greater heights, her position as first lady of maven will remain intact and no one is going to replace her now of course a lot of her fans took to their social media platforms to react to this saying you know it's truly indeed the first time that you know there's not been any beef between you know an artist and the record label which personally i think this is not the first time but you know in a major record label we usually don't see this so it's very very good we take um Remy Fagbunhun, this right here is how it's done. Relationships don't have to end, they just change. God bless you guys and all your future endeavors. Now, congratulations to Tiwa Savage once more. We hope that you take our Afrobeat sound 
to the world and we hope that you shine and bless them as you've blessed us with your music. I'll be leaving you guys with a video of the week. Now, you know that Idris Elba got married recently. Well, our very own Bisola, who had an imaginary relationship with Idris Elba, took to her social media to complain about, you know, how bitter she is. Although she tried to keep it cool at the beginning, but it didn't last long. My name is Ina Peters. Thank you for watching Social Media Trends. I'll leave you with this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, now you guys know my handle. Tag me at I am Bisola, at I am Bisola, at I am Bisola. Look at me. So what if you are married? So what if you are married? Could you people please, and please, and please, allow me leave my wound in peace. Actually, in case you don't know, I've broken up with him since. You people just did not know. I've broken up with him because I could see that that there was no future day. So I move on fast. But I'm not like, oh, she, he shake me. He shake me a little. But all of them are just shouting. I can't have this. 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 Please, allow me. I'm moving on to a new lover. That is Chadwick Boseman. But now I see him kissing one woman in our world. In this life, single is just was my portion.